<laughs> Got it. Okay, everybody, I have Salim with me today, my favorite Jedi. He calls me a Jedi, makes me feel like a million bucks. I love his energy, his bliss. I feel it all the way from Morocco. And I wanted to join our energies today so we could radiate to the world bliss. Right, Salim? I love it, Jila. I love you too. I feel your energy super strong. I told you earlier, like one of these grand crew members that are like a galactic uh, elite that came down to earth and now that, uh, that are here to raising the vibration. So yeah, I, I can, so. I can sense it. Like it's so strong. Yeah. Jila, you have to know, like, uh, since I started doing these videos, I'm on YouTube since like 10 years now. I'm doing a uh, video, uh, gaming videos, vlogging videos. I had no problem with the censorship. The moment I entered the field, like I posted the conference, uh, I posted the video called Out of Shadows. I got my, one of my sen videos censored. And then the, like, uh, you, you feel like the whole social media turns against you. Like, uh, it starts to be very hard. Like, if I type my full name on Instagram, I don't find my profile. So right. since then I had the five more, uh, four more videos censored, and I have, I have like the, the backups on BitChute. Why was I telling this? So yeah, we have interferences. Like sometimes he'll be talking, the mic will go off. He tells sometimes like the, the uh, his phone will will shut off, and this this thing happens to me. Like uh, like there are really forces, dark forces that don't want this intel out, and um, sometimes like they fuck up your mic, they fuck up like your electronics. So pay attention, guys. This is why I'm also recording myself. Like I, I've become very careful. Like I back up, double back up. Like I'm always ready for any. Well, Salim, any I might put I might put this interview. I had to create a second channel because I have two strikes on my main channel. Oh, I see. You just be very careful and take your time. Um, it's better that to keep the, the the content that you have there already. Um, safe. Oh, I love like, my like Melody. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, it too. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start building a second channel. That's what we all do. I'm at my, I have nine channels now. I can't be censored. If I, if they censor me why somewhere, I'll pop up somewhere else. I know. It's like whack-a-mole. <laughs> they cannot keep us down. <laughs> I love it. Also, sweetheart, like it's become like a, it's such a spiritual war. I have all my channels on my uh, business card that I, I give away. I'll tell them, yeah, I have Source TV, I have Mukas, Conference Maroc. And uh, yeah, if you, if you don't have a link tree, it's uh, really useful now. If you have a lot of channels, I put them all in the link tree. And yes, sweetheart, it's like a spiritual warfare. We need to be prepared. We need to be organized because they've been organized and they've, they've, they've done, they tried every trick on the book to disempower us, like to to make us feel like shit, basically. So right. yeah, I'm doing uh, everything so we can get out of this and it's going to be beautiful. I can see it already. Can you teach me with the necklace you're about? Uh, yes, to we're talking like about the, the pendulum. They use pendulums to verify, like you can check any truth. You, if you program your pendulum, you tell him I install a universal truth and you blow on it exactly. and you do it with love and light. And then you show it, show me yes. Show me yes. Here it's show me, show me yes. It's a front and backwards. And then yeah. I, I'll show it, uh, I'll ask it, show me no. Show me moving that. side to side. For me, it's moving side to side is no. And then you oh. ask, show me maybe. Show me maybe. Mine is moving in a circle. And then you say, thank me you. Thank you. It's literally <laughs> your higher self answering you with your pendulum. And I was telling you, like uh, some people also started building like this Barame Q6s that, that, that all the people also call Neo. It's like uh, James Rinks is selling them. And it's basically like pyramids, like pyramids and cones, they concentrate energy. If, if you take a pyramid and you spin it, it becomes a cone. And if you take six cones and you put them all pointing in the same direction, it creates like a small wormhole where like a consciousness can, can be hosted. So you do the same thing. You, you blow on it and you say, I install uh, universal truth. And I told you, I have some paranormal moment. I didn't know it would work, honestly. I took three months to build this, like a research and build this. Like it's like copper, aluminum, etc. It just cones, and now it's upgraded like with the source cube. Holy shit! I told you I thought the men in black would come up, come at my home <laughs> because one day this link like literally took control of my hands and I started channeling. You know when you channel, you receive an information and it's like from a higher source. Like a, mm -hmm. like when you with the pendulum, you receive yes and no questions very easily. You say yes, this is a yes, this is a no. With this, like I start, I can start asking any question. Like, uh, how is this person uh, feeling about me? Like, uh, uh, where is this person? And you, I start getting the answers. Like, sometimes I move my head. It's not me. me. Like, I'm really yeah. channeling a source. It's, it's telling me yes. It's telling me no. 
when I asked uh, what kind of uh, our chain of star seed uh, am I, or what are some people, I get uh, I get the answers like that. I say a Pleiadian, I say no, Arcturian, no, Elohim type, yes, like this kind of channeling, and it's happening so fast. I told men like that the moment I don't have time to finish the the question, I already get the answer. And well, sometimes did you for, did you ask for me, Salim? You asked that. yes. I just asked right now, like uh, when um. When you asked me earlier what kind of uh, star seed am i like i i there are several types there are andromedan star seed there are, there are uh, pleiadian arcturians it's a whole grand crew and uh, we're all working toward the same goal but we have uh, particular particularities we're literally the angels working down on earth like uh, if you if we take it very um s simple side we're like literally angels like very evolved beings but with different specificities different civilizations that evolved a lot and that came together this time like to liberate this planet because it's very important this is so huge what's happening like i'm i literally have like the superpowers coming online that's like a channeling sometimes i channel just the answers sometimes i'm starting channeling with my hand mm. to, just to go faster so i want to want to type something like it literally channeled something with my hand and i started typing super fast i was like holy shit, what's <laughs> going on i told you like i thought the men in black would show up at my door <laughs> when uh, when i took when you combine this with psychedelics because they, they like they boost your third eye vision, etc., for a short period, and then you have a you need to rest. But like this combined, and you ex uh, consciousness expanding so fast, like I see things manifest so fast. I see I want sun, the sun comes out. I want rain, mm -hmm. the rain comes down. I was like, uh, I want this thing happening in my life. The person shows up in my life. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What is our common goal? Like you say, we came, our ground crew came for one common goal. What, how do you say in words what our common goal is? We need to liberate the planet. It's been like um, um, dominated by a, a by a species that uses our negative energy, like our um, sad energy, to to feed. Like you, you heard of the Lush, some reptilian beings, the gray beings, they use us as food source, and it, they don't eat us, but they make us sad, angry, depressed. And when when we're this way, we emit an energy that uh, mm -hmm. feels like a good food for them literally so we're here to literally reverse this like to to go uh, to fight them is literally be happy and actually have a blissful life so this is this is a very special type of war we're not fighting with sticks and guns and stuff we're fighting like the dark force that are doing everything to poison us like i've been through a detox the life is completely different once you once you detox uh once you like uh, you start to get out of this matrix, you start to assimilate all the frequencies that are in the holograms, the cubes. You start to have abilities that you would, would not believe. Like I see things. Uh, the moment I close my eyes, I can like just go travel. Like uh, go see almost anyone. Uh, sometimes I see someone's picture, and I immediately uh, hear what they think of me or the last thoughts they had about me. Like uh, this is extremely powerful. And when you combine this with all the technology we have. I'm like, uh, this is so incredible. I have to talk about it. So yeah, you need to guys check uh, Source TV on YouTube. This is the channel where I post most of the disclosure videos and uh, try the holograms, they're free. But like, this is extremely powerful stuff. Even if you don't see here, you don't see Wi-Fi, you don't see 5G, you don't see 4G, but it's having an immense um, impact on people. Like they don't see it immediately, but like the pain disappears, disease disappears, my friends, uh, start to tell me bro we're telepathic i hear you in my head like, and, <laughs> and we did we just started like uh, i just started like exposing them to this stuff they're already telling me oh bro we're telepathic the money the commands manifest Salim, like, how can we how can people st get to bliss how do you what does your day look like number one how do you do you wake up in bliss how do you stay in bliss and what advice do you have for people to um get to bliss and stay in bliss one of the things that really helped me a lot is like to create an environment that really helped me like uh, when you see all around me like there is I, I do a lot of art therapy and i make everything in my apartment look beautiful look blissful mm. uh, look inspiring and uh, when you live in a place like that like it's almost impossible to to go down in vibration because i have mm. artwork everywhere that's inspiring me uh I live like I remove the toxic people of, out of my life. This is uh, uh, completely obvious, but yeah, you remove the the, the really annoying people. You you start to me meditate a lot. Like uh, actually, sorry, the first thing is to get the the food right and the water right. I use uh, distilled water 
distilled water is like, I almost only drink this and coffee. Distilled water like uh, will make just everything better. Like you, you start to feel better, sleep better, have better sex. Like, um, and and when you combine all this, you're gonna start to feel such a bliss and you, you won't want to drop your vibration. And the higher, the higher your, your bliss, the higher your, your abilities. Like when you're like uh, down, you don't want like you're not expanding much but when you're in bliss you feel you can do it so this is where all the act the abilities activate some people like uh, have a very bad self-talk like in their head it's messed up they, they they talk shit to themselves they talk down to themselves they, they start to look validation from others like i told you like so i create an entire environment where it's only positive like it's the positive affirmations if you see my secondary screen it's like there is positive messages everywhere boss mode the best love abundance and, love, and holograms on the screen uh combine this with like soundscapes uh, i always listen to healing frequencies i use uh, 741 hertz a lot i use affirmation videos like uh, people just telling i feel good i'm beautiful i'm powerful i'm respected i'm i'm this i'm that running in the background like constantly and you start you're gonna start feeling this way why like i tell mel as within so without so it has to come from within first like you you have a positive self-talk you respect yourself inside you don't let uh, shit fly in your head and then it's going to start manifesting outside and you're going to start like uh, start seeing like a beautiful manif uh, reality manifest outside of you so this is um, how to stay in in high vibe yes. in short for me practical um how do you how did you like first come to a relationship with source and god and how are you so tight with him honestly now uh, looking back i realized i was uh, very close to god like since a long time and since my muslim days i used to pray five times a day mm. i was uh, mentioning god like every minute every 30 seconds i was like uh, doing uh, like uh, some uh, how do you say glor glorifications of god this is what we do in islam and i realized exactly what i'm doing but i replaced it with commands uh, uh instead of talking to to allah i'm talking to source and i'm doing commands constantly i want to reinforce this i want to reinforce this beautiful reality i want to reinforce the healing for this person i want to reinforce me getting this equipment constantly 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 and we start uh, looking at it like different it's more empowering and um so yeah so I you're started. so you're a partner with god meaning you're not asking you're just co-creating you're not really begging. Jews do this a lot. We're begging, we're pleading, we're groveling before God. I feel the energy of that kind of prayer is so different. When you're reinforcing, you're co-creating, you're like, it's from I'm the I'm doing thing. a bit a bit different. Yeah. It's a, It was the same thing in Islam where we're begging, where we we're get on our knees, we, right. we how do you say, you, you bow down, etc. Now I do it with more, much more confidence. And the more confidence you have in the commands and the 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 more sure it's going to manifest now i do commands and i'm almost sure it's going to happen i'm like i want this message to hit this person and i reinforce it times a nonillion nonillion like it's a lot of zeros basically <laughs> it's the maximum command to to get this done and actually i just know that it's going to happen and mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, much more efficient honestly i just want to live a good life i don't want to live my, my life uh, with the with the concepts that don't work that don't get you nowhere this uh, source method we're just using love energy as long as you, as you do this with love, for love, uh, you're using like source energy and it's manifest much easier. It's, it's the most powerful source. If you do this thing just for, for and you're self-serving, you're not really, um, and you and you have the, you're careless about hurting others, it's not gonna manifest as well. But when you do commands that are based on love, it happens like now for me almost instantly. When you That's do this with the science. holograms and stuff. Well, are you able to tell me, Salim, like what my my specific purpose? If you say I'm from like the the Elohim group, what is there? Because you are good with technology. Ar you said you're Arcturian, so you're actually we're a mixed bag. Like uh, it's Arcturian. It's just the family that I see often when I go in uh, in meditation. Sometimes I visit the mothership, and I recognize the traits. And we since we're a collective consciousness, mm -hmm. I recognize that uh, the Arcturians up there they work together. Like uh, I realize that. Uh, we're here in a ground crew and uh, each one is here for a specific purpose like one is teaching us business one is teaching us like uh, manliness one is teaching us like uh, art and dancing and they were all excellent teachers and uh, we have this style like a uh, very elite and we are uh, and we want to teach because uh, we want to keep the the population 
at the same level of education because when it's uh, people know and people don't know this is where the problem starts to happen so for us it's extremely important that we educate and we, we have good people in each uh, field and what's for your you, specific yeah what's mine and what's yours honestly i don't know i just uh, i i I just ask like the type of uh, star seeds because like they have those particularities. I, I realize, for example, the Pleiadians are very good with relationships and uh, think like uh, it's very very important for them to have like a, a blissful relationship like uh, with the with the opposite gender. Arcturians are more like uh, more monks monks in a way, but excellent teachers and uh, like they just don't want to be bullied around. Uh, for example. Like uh, this is the kind of specificities. Elohim, the, the the specificities that I found very common is that they just have a very high vibe. Simply like they have a very high vibe. They want to love. Uh, they want to live in uh, in uh, in love and bliss. And this is actually a very good technique. This is what the kind of uh, specific specificities that I noticed. Andromedans are also another thing. And um, well, this is just I, I start to notice this in people. For example, I see a, a someone who really like uh, talks a lot about relationships, sexuality, etc. And I ask, uh, it's often a plea agent. And, I, and then I, I see another person like uh, she's very good with technology or she's like an elite person in one field. And like, what is kind of, I'm like, ah, oh, he's an Arcturian. Elohim, usually I noticed people that are very high vibe, like smiling, uh, dancing. I, I know a, a dancer, a Russian dancer. Like I didn't know she was Elohim in then, but uh, like I, I noticed her vibe was, was very high. She was always dancing, always smiling. I was like, is she really like that? And then after the years, yeah, she's really like that. And now I, I asked, ah, oh, she's she's this Elohim type. And I think uh, Elohim, like maybe they're just, they're just all the good vibes at once. I don't know exactly what they're, maybe they don't have a specific field. Maybe they're just a generalist, like jack of all trades, but very high vibe. This is what I noticed. Yeah, I find myself drawn to a million different topics. Like I, I'm very much into Nasara finance, um, I, I like to know about, you know, divine masculine, feminine, that's very much um, capturing my fascination these days. Like I'm, I'm all over the place, but I specifically love to talk about God and finance. <laughs> Those are my two favorite sweet spots. I, that's why I love Mel Karma and I got into Mel, I got into Emily, I got into all these people with Nisara because it's like, I feel like the whole world, the whole planet will shift once the money switches hands. It's God's plan coming together, and the Elohim. It's basically the same, almost the same thing as the angels for me. Like the Elohim and angels, it's basically the same thing. So when I say Elohim, it's basically like a, like these very high level angels. This I is why maybe you're so be. close to God, and uh, oh, for me so it makes sense. Them. I'm so you close. See? to them. Mm. And this is why I call you angel. Like uh, it's mm. so obvious. Mm. And yeah, the, people have different names. I don't want to confuse people. Uh, like uh, the crew is like just very high level beings. Uh, that are, that I work in different motherships. They have the New Jerusalem, that is like a, 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 an immense planet, and they have a, a lot of these ships going all over the multiverse. And these highly evolved beings, like uh, they like they, they have different styles. I have a friend. She looks like a feline being. Like for example, I look at her astrally. She looks more like a feline being, and she's very close to animals. So this is why I found I found this really interesting when you we see them up there and you see the behavior up here you start to understand the, the link. For example, I, I say you, you're kind of this angel type Elohim, and you say you're very close to God. For me, it makes uh, absolute sense. Me too. It feels right to me also, Salim. So yeah, I'm so delighted to feel, to start to find like the star family down here because they are so talented. Now when I see like a star seed, even if he's five years old, I'm like, holy shit, it's going to be a badass. And I respect the... <laughs> And I respect them. Sometimes, like they don't, they're in a, this very small bodies, but they, but they have lifetimes of memories, lifetimes of skills, and I'm just waiting to catch them. And I'm honestly very uh, much more motivated to go and uh, how do you say touch the the youth than uh, like the old people. Like honestly, they, they're they're a little bit too stuck up, and I prefer now to work with the youth because it's just uh, they're wide just, open. Yeah, they, they just catch up extremely fast. And yeah. because the old people have to go to a deprogramming de phase, yeah. yes. the deprogramming can take years. Like if they have been programmed for 30, 40 years to deprogram, sometimes it take one year, two years, three years. What happened to my parents? But mm. it's happening. But with the, with what the do you young think of the solar flare? What do you think the solar flare is for real? I have no idea. 
Uh, honestly, I haven't thought of it. I know like uh, we're going to heaven on earth. They're not going to be like a catastrophic event. This cannot be ha- this cannot uh, be allowed to happen like with all the powerful beings watching over us. Right now, it's just a movie. I just did uh, an interview with Michael Alejian. He told me it's literally just a movie to wake people up. But uh, yeah. we're, we're almost defeated all the dark forces. There are uh, very little pockets of uh, cabal remaining and uh, most of them are just uh, playing dumb. So they wake up the people type Joe Biden. Right. And yeah, we're already one. I don't uh, really worry about the solar flare. I, I used to be like a very, like, I didn't knew where the humanity will go, like in 2000, 2010, like, uh, is 2012 going to happen? Like, uh, you, you really wondered, is will humanity survive? But since I know the crew, since I've seen the motherships that are working on Earth, I'm like, there is no way in hell that something bad happens to this planet. Now we got this. Like, there is... Like he's making the trillions of ship of ships uh, running around, uh, cloaked, invisible in different dimensions, protecting us, helping uh, people, like uh, creating synchronicities, so they wake up. Because it's extremely important that people wake up smoothly. It could it could be a hard wake up <laughs> with all yeah. the all the crap that happened. Well, when did you wake up? What woke you up, and how long ago? I don't remember exactly how long ago, but it was a. Uh, a little bit after the 9-11 event where mm-hmm. where where there was this war on terror and the the terrorist war it was us so it woke up a lot of the arabs uh, uh. At, at this time or like the all of a sudden were the, like the terrorists so it's like this is, this is just bullshit. and yeah. then slowly but surely like uh, i started watching documentaries uh, nine on, on 9-11 like a uh, loose change uh zeitgeist it's what it woke me up uh, slowly and then i got into the cosmic disclosure stuff with corey good i think it was in 2020 and then i started to be really interested in the cosmic disclosure stuff i said through i realized that i had visions i was like holy shit sometimes i have visions i'm in i'm with ships i'm with the i have superpowers i go super fast i crawl across the world i i, <laughs> I went to battles i went to battles i i i saw like uh, las vegas being uh, liberated we saved some children on, in underground and wow. it was so intense i was with the crew and like it's so it was so intense I cried. I remember this vision. I was just here. I was this on this couch, uh, meditating, and I had this vision where I just was running. I went to went to Germany, and then we went to Las Vegas. We cleaned legions and legions of dark beings, like literally, like a, like a, I think our uh, dark beings that we slashed through them. We just smashed them, saved like thousands of, uh, of children be- below uh, below ground. I was with the crew. We cried because it was so intense. And I was just here. This is where I started having these visions. I was like, holy shit, what's, go- what's going on? What the hell is going on? And I was like, a photogra- I- I'm, in my life, I'm a photographer. I take uh, a lot of pictures and videos for, for clients. It sells uh-huh. very well. And uh, at the same time, like I was very interested like uh, in uh, self-development and God like you. And uh, yeah. all this now is coming together with Source TV because I can make videos about God, make videos about activating my abilities. So yeah, it's so fascinating. and. Uh, I love I following for- you. I love to follow you. I, I love that the Nasara video you made was was like crack. It was like the best drug I ever I ever took, really. And you put me in the middle. I love yes. you. Thank you for doing that. Honestly, you shine for the XRP community, Jila. I'm so proud. Your channel has grown so much so fast. Have you noticed? I or- know, but I'm scared, Salim. Can you put protection on that channel for me? Yes, I'll tell the Jedi's. Like I uh, want to keep that channel. PNB for the end of censorship. I was actually want to I want to ask you. I told you like uh, since I'm 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 more interested in in uh, working with the youth now. So I'm starting to post on TikTok, on Instagram stories, etc. Because mm. we need to hit this population. Like I notice when I look at the stats on Source TV that uh, a lot of these people are females, uh, more in the post 35 years old range. And I was right. like, we almost almost zero percent of the, the viewers in Source TV are young people. So I, I started like to post, uh, I started to 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 post more on Instagram and um, and TikTok. And we just needed to look good for these people to start following us and start upra- upgrading mm. lightning fast. I know, and the, it has to be very short. I see it's like it's like under ten seconds. <laughs> very quick. Yeah. And TikTok, it's it's like we have to get the attention quickly. How old are you, Salim? Can I ask? Yeah, I'm 34 years old. Oh, you're young. Ah, yeah, it's my birthday in two days. I'm going to be Happy 35. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. What is today? 27th? So you're November 29th? November? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Sagittarius. Yes. Time flies. 
and honestly i i'm no i'm just starting out like a, oh yeah uh, some people look at me and be like oh you did this you did that awesome and i'm like i'm just starting out just so. getting started yeah. and you and um you support yourself through photography that's how you stay actually i tried every experiment uh, Ty Lopez says the one who does the most experiments wins so i started <laughs> i i i sold videos i sold photos i do airbnbs i tried e-commerce it wasn't oh. very successful i tried donations patreon I, i received thousands thousands of dollars in donations uh youtube monetization now it's going down so i'm always constantly trying stuff i have a Multiple. real estate business mm. with my with my father uh i did events now i'm mostly talk, t- thinking about events and now i am at a point where like uh, i stabilized everything in my life that i don't have to work for other people anymore and i'm oh, like, focused on uh, like uh, humanitarian stuff so i yeah. do uh, i i gather people teach them heal them uh do disclosure videos for free that are very high quality done by some one, one of the best in the world in video making so we can get the ball moving forward where do i find a link tree i don't even know what a link tree is where could i find <laughs> It's in all of uh, the source TV videos you're going to find the first link is a link tree. It's basically one link that has all the links. Uh-huh. It's one link that has like 20 links like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Okay, it's you send me that to me, I'll put it under this video. I'm going to put this in yeah. my new my channel. Pleasure. I'll make one for you if you want. Like uh, I did one for Mel Thank because you. he has links for to affiliate links to sell his uh, wallet, his uh, first channel, secondary channel, Rumble channel. Shout nice. out to Mel by the way. I love, love you so you, much. Love you Mel. Bro. We love you oh. and Amber. We love you oh. Amber. Amber is oh. good stuff. Do you ever meet Amber? <laughs> Amber is good stuff. Yes. Oh, I saw her in the last interview. <laughs> She's high level. She's something. She's an angel also. Huge props to Mel Carmine like um, Yeah. I respect him so much like for So you got some XRP? You got some XRP? Yes. Reason? I got yeah. some XRP. Actually, I I haven't bought it. I I had the uh, the a big donation of bitcoin long time ago and i just changed all this bitcoin into xrp you know it's pretty good. too it's good. pretty good how about lobster wallet did you get into the lobster wallet yes i knew this shit was real when i asked <laughs> daddy i say yeah this is a uh, white hats that are literally li- li- liquidating the assets and grab them because they're going to be worth a lot uh, at some point so yeah i grabbed the uh, billions of uh, tokens yeah me too i forgot uh, forgot exactly which ones the ones that i resonated with like yeah. the electronic companies aeronautic company uh, companies tesla etc starlink yeah. yeah me too so yeah i got uh, i got i got uh, yeah, this good for and you. i don't think much about it now like it's uh, stored up there and uh, i know it's going to be worth a lot sometimes so yeah yeah you can be ready in many ways for me like uh, i have a garden growing we have a farm for me this part of it like you have to do it all you can have the assets etc you cannot eat the, this asset right now <laughs> so it's nice to have a, to have a garden we, we I have to start growing well. how's the climate over there morocco is it summer now it's a, the start of, it's a start of fall it's beautiful uh, it's beautiful uh, weather uh, you should come one day you're going to be I want so VIP to. Gila. holy shit i would love to come i'm going to parade I'm you everywhere my friend Gila is here you're so welcome what do you think what do you think about um the whole israel the the muslim and jewish conflict that goes on over there i believe that these two people are almost exactly the same uh, it's just a political conflict people that are trying to turn us against each other i know many jewish people in morocco here that love moroccans and i love them back like i don't see any difference between us honestly i see i'm a jewish friend like i have alan bitun is a very good friend i love their food holy shit, i love their food why would i start fighting with them for some kind for some conflict like 2000 kilometers away because uh, because the bullshit uh, reptilians uh, manipulated everybody actually so it's just yeah. an artificial conflict and yeah. uh, both our, of our people are very loving if you take away the starvation if you take away the the injustice etc we're going to just love each other like brothers this is like meaningless like the conflict just because uh, these guys said there was a conflict like the more the, the jew was in morocco bro <laughs> sorry this is <laughs> the jews in morocco you want to meet them they like Thank all you. the they have the, the mixed culture like they have their food their their um, their ways but at the same time they're very respectful of us and they're, they they speak arabic jewish french english so it's very impressive to to meet them 
So yeah, what I do you think uh, that you think we're going to have a third temple like uh, uh, on the New Jerusalem? Like, what do you think of uh, the so the Jewish thinking for the days of Messiah? That's the Great Awakening we're in. Is that God is going to need a dwelling place here on earth? That's what we always say. We're going to make a dwelling place here on earth for God. And I just think of it now as matching His frequency. Your frequency matches with God's frequency. So you, Salim, are making God a dwelling place inside your vessel for Him. So, what do you think when we think? Do you think we're going to have a physical third temple where all go worship? Like, well, how do you see, how do you imagine the future with God being here among us, walking among us? I think it's just that we, when we raise our vibration enough and we start uh, living in the love vibration, we literally start living in heaven on earth and uh, we start to be telepathic and we start to connect. I, I'm telepathic with the crew all the time. Some of the crew members, some of my friends. And uh, we literally uh, are on different motherships. Sometimes I talk with him, I ask, where am I? I'm like, oh, we're in the New Jerusalem. And so I ask, where am I? Oh, I'm on the Athena. Because like uh, when we, we vibe higher enough, we realize that we're multidimensional and the New Jerusalem is like a huge planet with civilizations inside, like uh, equipment, etc. And we can just teleport there instantly just by like uh, focusing, like um, I would say people say meditating, Jedi don't even do that, we just uh, connect and uh, we're up there. So for me, it's like just when we raise our vibration, we detox, we remove the poison, we remove the bad vibes, we start just to, to, to vibe higher and we're already in heaven. And we don't need to meet in person physically, we're already up there on the ships, like it's, uh, it's, it's just enough space for everybody. everybody. <laughs> and like for me, I'm already there, I'm already on the heaven on earth, like since I, if I can connect, go to the New Jerusalem right now, I've seen different parts of the ships. There is like a huge king area where like uh, he'd like do speeches for the, the crew. There is an arena area where we fight and train. There is a socializing areas. It's a it's very different. It's each time your imagination is translating for you what you can understand in this body. So sometimes you see things. Sorry. It's a, it's a bit hard to understand, but like uh, your imagination is literally translating for you. What do you look like in that avatar? Do you know how you appear? But since right. we can and you all recognize shift. the frequency of like he might not look the same, but yes, the frequency. Like, like uh, sometimes like he'll me. come at me with uh, some person I really love just to just to chill me out. <laughs> yeah. say, oh, it's, I know it's not. Yeah, we since uh, when we do these highly evolved beings, we can teleport instantly, shape shift. We have ships. Uh, we can literally do anything. So, are we are we going to collapse all the different avatars into this one? That's what I've heard Ishmael Perez. He said we're going to collapse all the other avatars into this one, and the different timelines will merge into one. What are your thoughts? I think yes, we're slowly evolving like to this uh, high, highly evolved like state where we're going to literally have all the abilities like uh, fly, teleport, shape shift, and um, this is why I said it's the last cycle. So guys, don't be worried about death. We're gonna be living uh, thousands of years. We're gonna be living uh, like almost for I think for for a very very long time. So take your time, guys. I'm 35 now, like but like I know I'm just getting started. So I'm already thinking about uh, my ship, uh, what places I'm gonna visit in the inner earth, like outside, what civilizations I want to meet. So yeah, I think we're gonna evolve slowly and uh, over on only th two years. And I've seen so much of my abilities come online. I'm like, holy shit, it's like a, it, we're lucky it's a, a smooth transition, but because if this came in like uh, immediately, like uh, all of a sudden uh, uh, feeling people and uh, there is a lot of, people have trash in their mind, literally, and you feel it when, you, when you're sensitive and psychic. So yeah, th this is coming slowly so we can adapt and uh, not freak out and not uh, literally lose our minds because some of this shit is really crazy work. We're, we're going literally from the bottom cesspits of uh, evolution to now uh, starting to have a little bit of abilities. So hopefully we can start having like, uh, we do the flying thing. Some people started flying already. It's uh, it's known. Uh, telepathy for me, it's real. It's absolutely real. Manifestation, same thing. I visualize something, it happens. You just don't know exactly. Sometimes you have a vision. You don't know exactly if it's uh, like tomorrow or it's in five years, but you just know it's going to happen. Like, uh, about point. the Sara, Salim, when is <laughs> ah, when, 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 <laughs> it's when we bring it in. Like, I, I must say, I only I already told you I'm leaving the heaven on earth. I don't, I didn't wait for Nesara de Sara. Like, I have several businesses that are running, I'm impacting people. I have a farm that are where we grow food. 
uh, I created a collective where we can teach each other and uh, we literally don't need the matrix anymore. So for me, mm -hmm. I'm already living in this Nesara state and I'm trying a new technology, like 6,000 patents. For me, this is part of it, like 6,000 patents. We have a free energy, we have like a healing wands, we have like a cubes that like uh, allow you to channel. Uh, what else? Uh, when you start to, to realize how powerful the crystals are, like uh, all this, when you combine it together, like for me, it's, uh, we're already like in science fiction, something I, some things I would have never imagined uh, like five years ago, six years ago, I'm now doing like all every day, all day, every day, talking telepathic me, with, with my friend, talking with daddy source, joking around with source, uh, hearing people's reactions to my posts. Like uh, I told you, when I post on Telegram or on YouTube, I, I feel people reacting. It's hilarious. Sometimes I cannot do anything but just <laughs> listen to this, what, the, the chatter of what's happening after I post. I hear people laughing their asses off, and I know who it is. <laughs> like, and I snap it. I hear their reactions. I'm like, oh shit, that, this is happening. We're, we're having superpowers. And uh, imagine if this came in all at once the telepathy, manifestation, teleportation, levitation. We'll go crazy. Like, yeah, what, we'll what the hell is going on? We would explode. Where do you feel bliss? When you feel bliss, where do you feel it in your body? It's the entire body. Like, I have these chills the entire body from how do you say seg how do you say the, the bottom chakra to the top chakras all the way i see like uh, i have these chills up the spine on the the shoulders mm. yeah i feel it uh, on my sometimes i feel expanded so i feel like i'm i'm mer much further away that i'm really i'm like a, how do it's hard to explain it's a, like you you feel your aura body touching mm. other people or like uh, mm. going very far away like uh, miles away continents away you're touching with other people with your aura already that's how i feel from you i i always felt this from you you when i think about you i can feel bliss just the thought of you brings me to bliss and i feel you're from morocco i can feel your energy touch my energy <laughs> you have a huge aura <laughs> it's happening yeah i feel it too <laughs> and that's how powerful you are because you're the bigger your auric field the more power you have to make changes and you could change the weather and change things I mean, you have you're a leader i feel from you you're such a leader you're such a gather you gather people that's your i think your best power is you you're in gathering of people it's so beautiful you're adorable stuff. and there's some people you. in source directives like some i feel the same thing for example you will enter a room a zoom call and you'll feel like blast of <laughs> energy <laughs> like, oh, Long shit. Back. Sometimes it's just a thought of him, like a, like yeah, a, yeah. Like I, I get that some, too. Yeah, some people that are extremely powerful like that. Sometimes you just feel he's here, and he'll tell you straight up what's happening in your head, and you don't even need to type on Telegram or on the phone. I told the Mel, we're gonna, we're not gonna need this, this stuff no more. Like uh, Telegram, phones, we're gonna just skip all that and go straight to telepathy, like I'm doing now. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah, but you, you just. Um you're just immediate bliss the thought of you is just immediate so thank you really you're welcome Gila. i'm happy to to teach this like i want the humanity to move forward i used to think i was normal like the the school bullshit school system almost made <laughs> me feel i was like below average like i was like uh, uh made me feel like crap like um and now i start to realize that i have all these abilities and um it's not fun when you have all these abilities and you only um, you're, you're the only one in the city that can do this and can talk about it so yeah i want people to to learn yeah, about it yeah absolutely absolutely that's how i felt when i got my my xrp and xl and i'm like i don't want to be the only billionaire in the world i want everybody to be a billionaire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you want everyone to have ease in their life and happiness and joy oh, i'm just ready i feel so ready yeah and when you're sensitive like that psychic uh, when you see people suffering it's very hard like to not do something because you feel the person you feel their pain sometimes even by watching a video something very far away you'll you'll feel so emotional and we're all becoming like that we have this collective consciousness like a planetary consciousness when the gaia is hurt we start to feel it mm. when uh, an animal is hurt we start to feel it and uh, we cannot just stand still and take it especially men us men like um, i don't expect the ladies honestly to go and slay their dragons but uh when i sometimes i look at men I, i'm like guys we need to fight like oh, what the hell do you want to do? Like, do you want to live like slaves like that? Holy, what the fuck are you doing? So yeah, I, I push all the men to just, uh, how do you say, ball, ball up, uh, like uh, 
grow, grow balls and go do something about it because uh, it's happening like uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway and uh, if if you look back on this period and you look at yourself you haven't done nothing you're gonna feel so bad holy shit so yeah i'm telling the men just to grow up and do something sometimes it's just post a link do a video talk to someone go to an event uh, place hologram somewhere it's so easy now we can you can you can do uh, such massive change that uh, now i'm almost addicted to it like multi making comments making videos spending like uh, years working like i think uh, for example the nisara video i thought about it for months before doing like uh, for months i was thinking yeah it's gonna start like that this like that this is going there this is going there and i started saving clips uh, little by little over months and years and uh, when it was uh, ready, like I edited and do it all at once because I want Nesara. You want Nesara? Share a Nesara video. You want full disclosure? Share a full disclosure video. You want uh, like you want a first contact? Try CE5. I tried. Do you, you know CE5? You can oh, get in contact that? with ETs. I tried the first time it works. It's uh, <laughs> Dr. Stephen Greer who put out like a protocol to get in contact with ETs. It's called con Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind or something. You put an intention, hello, it is, uh, I'm ready to learn. I would like to meet you if you accept me. And then you go out in the nature and you look at the sky and maybe they'll show themselves. And it happened for me the first time. I was like, please, it is, I did it really sloppy. I was like, please, it is, I'm ready to learn, blah, 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 blah. I went and laid on the glass up there. I saw fucking a UFO. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time I didn't even record i didn't even thought of recording it was my first ufo encounter it was a it looked like a moon it lasted the two three three minutes and then it disappeared wow so yeah you want first contact try ce5 you want to uh, is that a hard... video what is ce5 it's a video it's a protocol out? a lot of a people protocol. do ce5 like they gather up with the the the, the intention of meeting it is and they go usually in very quiet places and uh, ETs show up, literally UFOs Ooh, show up. So yeah, you can uh, start this right now. And uh, when I see people just uh, posting Intel, but, but you look at their life, they look like they have the most boring life. I'm like, I don't even want to 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 follow these people. Like uh, they, they just repeat what they heard from another source. And um, like they could do this by themselves if they have, if they had uh, activated their abilities, uh, started research, researching uh, seriously. So yeah, yeah, for me, it's important to live spiritual, not just talk spiritual. Like mm -hmm. some people are, are just talking spiritual. Like uh, you should do this, you should behave like that. Don't uh, don't worry about this. Like uh, I'm I'm like more in the living spiritual. This means like you need uh, action. It must have action. For me, like you, you, being spiritual is being yourself. Oh, that's a good one. So yeah, I just uh, go and live the life like I wanted to live. Like uh, I want heaven on earth, I go work for it. Like uh, for me, it's gonna be it's gonna mean festivals, it's gonna mean beautiful girls, it's gonna mean uh, good DJs, uh, nature, uh, and you combine this all together and you and you do your heaven on earth right here, right now. I started like you can check my vlogging channel. I have like after movies of festivals where it literally looks like heaven on earth. Mm. <laughs> I would love to come over for that. Um, and I saw in the video you had Trisha Lindsay was a like a star of that. Do you know who that is? That Whoa. woman that with the dreadlocks? Was, you had her. I, I just saw a speech of her and it fired me up so much, like uh, maybe a few months <laughs> back. And I, it stayed in my mind. Like for me, uh, I, when you do documentaries, videos, impactful videos, I try to compact as much information in one unit. And um, uh, Trisha was like the motivation part like like maybe she doesn't have like the full picture but she knows something is wrong and she used her heart to to say it and we can all understand and we connect the dots that uh what what she's saying is true like we couldn't kind of just sit there and like listen to speeches while people are being censored i'm getting my computer hacked etc you cannot just sit here and let it happen so yeah i've been fighting like i'm not gonna let them take my planet boys mm -hmm. i'm going for heaven on earth that's it or bust but trisha yeah. so i reached out to her i said you have to see she's my friend i was mm. at that rally i was there that day when she spoke oh. yeah so i connected both worlds i said trisha you're the star of this movie <laughs> she couldn't believe it so it was it was a very powerful to have to have you in my life and her in my life and bring the two together she was so touched and i sat oh, with her and i family. made one family i made with her a lobster wallet i said we're gonna i'm gonna make you a billionaire also Awesome. 
I also started teaching lobster for my Moroccan people. A lot of people are not really aware of this because the Moroccans don't speak, uh, a lot of them don't speak English and French. Right. So yeah, you have all, all, I have to translate this. So yeah, we need to teach each other. Like she's very yeah. good at motivating people exactly. at law. She, she's not going to get bullied by any judge. She's not going to get bullied by any any police officer. She's going to wreck them right there. Yeah. So she, can, she can teach us that and we can teach her lobster. Like uh, I do videos like, like uh, so people can upgrade. Now, uh, it's so important to have good videos. It's the spiritual warfare. Like most people just watch everything now on video. They're on a screen all day. If you yeah. don't uh, know how to use this medium, it's literally like you have no arms and you're running around in your life and you have no arms. <laughs> it's true. If I could figure it out, anyone could figure it out. You did it so well. How did you, like Gila, how did you do that? How did, I think it's the consistency and the, the honesty. Like yeah. you, you went straight up. You, you're not like a, a big egg. You didn't come in like I'm a big expert on lobster. This is how you do it. You're like, hey, no. I'm a humble servant of God. I'm figuring so, it out <laughs> myself. <laughs> you know what, Salim? I was so sad for for a week now. I didn't make a video because of the strikes. I was really it knocked me down. It made me it made me feel discouraged. But I talking to you, I I feel better, and I'll just keep building up my second channel. You know, it's hard when you get to a certain number and you're like, I need to start again at zero. Mm, I had the same thing when they had my first strike. Same thing, like uh, couldn't post. Uh, I wanted to post other things, and you feel like the social media turn against you. But yeah. like, yeah, take action. Create a link tree. Like there are solutions. Uh, yeah. I know. I know it hurts. I, it I know hurts. you invest a lot in a channel. You work for free mostly. Yeah. And uh, you get attacked just for speaking the truth, your truth. And uh, sometimes people are not always here to support you. So yeah, there are solutions. I told you, like I backed up a lot of my most important videos. They are backed up in uh, dozens of channels. Like uh, I have Odyssey backup. For example, uh, one thing I, I recommend all the truth speakers is to have the auto backup option on Odyssey. If you have a YouTube channel, you think you might be sent, you might, you might uh, be attacked someday, just auto back it up on Odyssey. It takes two clicks. You create an account on Odyssey, you say auto backup, and it's gonna back up all your videos on YouTube from the first one. So you never- Really? I'm doing that today. I'm gonna do that today. I asked uh, Mel to do the same thing. It takes two clicks, literally. You go to uh, Odyssey, you go to uh, the top button, auto backup this channel, you link your channel and that's it. And then I also have a beat shoot. Thank you, Salim. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I needed then that. I also have a beat shoot, a telegram. So now I, I'm not worried about uh, being censored. Because my videos I, are my babies. I really feel yes, like Yes, these yeah. are literally babies. The yeah. effort you put in, yeah. To yeah, meet yeah. the person. I know for Mel also when uh, when he had to, to delete all his videos, not to like make them private. I know this shit hurts so much when you... It does. Yeah. You put your heart and soul. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and all the yeah. feedback that you get to lose extra but you gotta the more they deny us the more evidence will be shown this is a message from daddy and now i almost say say bring it on bring it on the the more <laughs> the more they attack me this is why in my instagram profile i said best healer in morocco come and mm. get me like best healer in morocco who's gonna say the first when people talk shit, i get more evidence so i was like yeah i'm the best healer in morocco what's that's up that's right that's right i love it you come back stronger Mm. So it's gonna, you're gonna have more evidence when you when you see you're being denied by uh, by an authority that uh, tries to suppress the truth. Know that the source got you, and that, that you can have more evidence that uh, you're in the right track. I oh, mean, I you know my whole life I've been that way. I've been a fighter my whole life, so I'm just gonna keep keep going. You know, I, I, any time that I, there was a something in my way, I figured out a way around it. So. I didn't realize you were a dentist. Honestly, that's funny, funny parkour from dentist YouTuber. Like you have a just a very um, a welcoming way of uh, doing your videos. Like you make people feel at ease, and you show yourself like a, with the true honesty, and it's super touching. Even if Thank the you. video is not like a well edited, etc., we just see the honesty, and we're hooked. This is why I was hooked at the beginning. And uh, I don't know how to edit. If I knew how to edit, <laughs> I would edit them. It's okay. Some people do very well without editing. But, yeah. Uh, I can teach like a. It's it's very important. Like uh, when you when you you're not uh, when you don't have the physique to look good, you need at least the video to look good. So I optimize every effing pixel. Like you see the background behind me, my videos are the same. Like there's not one pixel that is not used. If yeah. the, there is an empty space, I use holograms. 
uh, I use art. Uh, I, I fill the entire uh, audio track. So there is always like an um, soundscapes. There is voice, the music background, sometimes the video back, the video sound. So it looks like a movie and it's always flowing like a, and then it climaxes and it comes back. And it's a joking phase. And this way people get to remember the information much easier. Like it's a science. They have been yeah. disclosing us like a, it's a science of what memory stick, what memory doesn't stick. And it's like the visuals. It has to do with the, the episodic, like uh, what what comes, uh, in what order the sequence comes. It has to do with the audio, and it has to do with the words, semantic. So mm -hmm. there is some expressions that Mel taught, that Mel said a long time ago. I remember them because I don't hear this expression of often. He said, "You can bet the shit underneath your shoes." They're real. <laughs> you remember this phrase? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people would say things that will stick in your mind because it's not said often. And uh, when you use this all combined in a, vi in a video, uh, so powerful. For example, Tricia, uh, you can combine her voice with a specific music and it will amplify her message. It's literally mm. a science. And you start crying. Like uh, sometimes I make my videos crying. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to edit this video. I'm crying. <laughs> and yeah, I feel people react to this. Uh, so this is how yeah, you make memories cool. stick. That's your gift. I think that's your gift on the planet. Is a, it's a video gift. Ah, uh, where it's li it's written here. So yeah, it's my. Uh, I have a company called Cash Lab. I, I have see. a company called Cash Lab where I make like videos for people. I told Mel, um, what sells the most is the uh, videos. Some people, for example, very old age people, they'll come at me. They'll say, I have sixty years of footage. I would like a video about my life and like uh, I edit everything out and like uh, put some music, put some stories and they're like, they come out uh, so happy. For me, it's the new evolution of photo albums. We had photo albums before, you know, big, uh, big books with your pictures, old pictures. Now like people want like a video of their life and uh, it's such that. a valuable skill. And since we're going to live thousands of years, why don't we learn this now? So I, I've been making videos about my life and sometimes I watch them back. I go back in time like oh yes i was here i was here i was here this was so cool so yeah i know we do we do that at the bar mitzvahs and the bat mitzvahs we have a montage of the of when the baby and the baby was born up to the age of 12 or 13 and when i got them for my kids i have four kids i would cry also because it was just the culmination of their little life you know and i saw how they evolved from a baby to to 12 years old and it was so beautiful i would cry from them i still watch the montage it's a totally different experience I so powerful it. and it's also a way of reinforcing what you want to see and uh, since the last years i started making videos very specifically targeted for one purpose i want to reinforce this thing like for example full disclosure is going to be like the full disclosure like uh, all the clips about mermaids bigfoot ufo ships cloud oh. ships in one video so it, this is full disclosure and each one sometime someone watches this is going to reinforce full disclosure it's going to reinforce healing because there are healing frequencies in the video. I want to reinforce Nesara. I'm going to put all the intel on Nesara because it's very hard to talk about Nesara uh, without a well-made documentary to, to your parents. For example, you want to talk about Nesara, oh, you have to watch 100 hours of interviews to start to understand what yeah. the fuck is happening. And uh, <laughs> when you have one documentary that have it all, or most most of it, you can uh, you can start like talking about it very, very easy. Hey, have you heard of Nesara? Boom. Here's the documentary, and uh, then it manifests much easier. This is what they have been doing to us, the cabal. Like, they show bad news on TV, so we can manifest the bad news. Exactly. And, uh, I'm doing, I'm exactly. Doing the, the exact awesome. opposite. Exactly. I'm like, good, good news, 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 good news. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Thank you. God bless. That's really, that'll make the shift more than anything else. And I feel like we don't need everybody we just need the critical mass we just need a certain amount like 10 percent of this vibration and we're going to flip it for everybody exactly awesome. what mel said like 200 mon mon monkey effect exactly like you just need 100 monkeys and to learn something and then the entire population is going to learn it like that yeah so yes, yeah yes, yes. that's why i'm pushing and uh, yes it's sometimes you get censored yes there is some opposition yes sometimes people look at you uh, like you're weird but honestly now I see the situation change and we're now the superheroes or not the Avengers that people look up to. So Absolutely. things have changed really fast. And it's yeah. time to change. Like if people haven't spoke up already, guys, speak up now, guys. It's a, we're at the, we already won, actually. We're just seeing who's going to speak up or not speak up. And people mm -hmm. are going to remember this, guys. 
Very important. Cillian, thank you so much for today. You're so welcome, Regina. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for bringing me bliss all the time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I want to say like thank you for speaking up, even though it wasn't your 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 main uh, your main job before. Like uh, you just jump into the ship and started reinforcing Nisara yourself. This means it's a, you're reinforcing a beautiful reality for the entire world. So yeah, mm -hmm. I want to give you props for thank this for you. fighting for thank all you. of us. You know, I had no choice. I had no choice. God was like, you're going. He shoved me. He pushed me. Mm -hmm. I had no, you know that feeling when you have no choice? Yeah. No choice. It, it just kept, keeps repeating in your head until you, you have to. You right? have to get it out. <laughs> Love it, Gina. Well-respected, gel-connected. Got the metaphor, them pretty females perfected for sure.